Hello dear friend, let's welcome to our YouTube channel Knowledge G. If you like our videos, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Hello dear student, hope you are good. Again we are coming with a new video of polity. In the polity section we are going to discuss the um, Ponsayatira system with the help of several questions. Just like previous video, we are again giving the question with the proper explanation. So please do read the explanation part. Then you have a better understanding of our Ponsayatira system. Now come to the first question. Which of the following committee recommended for Panchayati Raj system in India? Uh, option A Punsi Samiti, Option B Balo, Balwanta Rai Meta Committee, Option C Singh B Committee, Option D None of the above or none of the above. Now come to the answer. Answer will be B Balwanta. Rai Meta Committee. Please look at the explanation part. The Balwanda Rai Meta Committee was a committee originally appointed by Government of India in January 16, 1957 to examine the working of the Community Development Program. Please do understand or please do read this line very carefully. Community Development Program CDP. You may need this program name in the economic part also and the national exchange service 1953 october 2nd why october 2nd because of Gandhi Jayanti and our um, father of the nation that is Mahatma Gandhi always emphasized the Panchayatira system in India before independence and to suggest the measure for their better working. The chairman of the committee was Balwanta Rai G. Mehta. The committee submitted its report in November 24, 1957 and recommended the establishment of the scheme of democratic decentralization. Please do read this word, democratic decentralization, which finally came to be known as Panchayati Raj Sistis. The main aim of the Ponsati Raj system to, is to settle the local problem locally and to make the people politically conscious. Local people, local problem locally means just look at the example here in the municipality or here in the in a village of Ponsayat, you need to fit a light. So you should not depend on the chief minister or even prime minister because they are so burdened by their work they have little time to put their effort in the small small matter so if the problem is solved in the um, ground level itself or in the local level itself then the there will be less time consuming and less um, less um, red tapism in the cases of governance system so that is the main motto of the democratic decentralization now come to the recommendation first the specific recommendation of these committees are please do the all the recommendation carefully establishment of three tier ponsatira system please do remember three tier ponsatira system sometimes there may be a question that balwantara committee uh, recommended two tier ponsatira system that is the wrong statement and this is the three tier system gram panchayat at the village level panchayat samiti at the block level and district position at the district level this tier should be originally linked through a device of indirect election the main purpose of this division is to simplify and to decrease the workload of the state and central government as i already mentioned the example of decentralization here the committee also stated the same things now come to the point number second in the point second there was there was a village sponsor should be constituted directly elective rep representative where 
whereas the panchayat samiti and jila parishad should be considered with indirectly elected members that means the he emphasis on direct democracy at the grassroots level and better participation of the people at the grassroots level this is because of panchayat is similar to that of state assembly where there is a place for politi politics where SOMIT and Jila Parishad members should be more educated and acknowledgeable and may not need the majority support. Okay, the better participation of educated people at the grassroots level. You can understand or you can use this statement in the governance main paper. Now come to the Point number three, all planning and development activities should be entrusted to these bodies. See, planning and development activities also. Mm, then come to the point number four, the panchayat committee should be executive body, while the Zilla Parishad should be the advisory body, coordinating and supervisory body. Please do understand this thing. Now come to the point number five. That is, district collector should be the chairman of Zilla Parishad. Being an aspirant, you will become district collector one day. So you should know your responsibility from today. And here, there is a clearly mention. Now come to the point number six. There should be a genuine transfer of power and responsibility to these democratic bodies. Now come to the point number seven. Sufficient resource should be transferred to this body to enable them to, to discharge their function and fulfill their responsibilities. Now point number eight. A system should be evolved to affect further devolution of authority in future. Next point number nine, irrespective of political party, election has to be constituted for every five years in a genuine way. Please do read this Balbandarai Metaco committee recommendation. Each and every point is needed for your governance plans also. Now come to the next question that is question number two how many posts are reserved for women at all levels in the Ponsayati Rush system please do remember these things reserved for women option a one by third option b one by two option c two by third option d one by four and correct answer will be option a c Please read the explanation part here also. One third of the post for both members and the chiefs are reserved for women. One by third. As the provision contain article 243D of the constitution. One by third of the seats of Ponsayati Raj institution and one by third offices of the chairperson Please do remember share person also at all the level of Ponsayatira's institution on covered by part 5 of the constitution are reserved for women. Please do read the sentence carefully. Now next sentence. The following states have made legal provision for 50% reservation for women among the members and serpents. See some people or some states are also reserving 50 percent not one by third the states like andhra bihar chattisgarh jharkhand kerala Madh maharashtra Urisha, rajasthan tripura uttarakhand they are well ahead of national reservation in case of women reserve seat in the panchayatira system so please do remember these things then come to the next sentence. The government has approved the proposal for enhancing reserve reservation of women in the Ponsayat from the present one third to fifty percent. 
Accordingly, a bill of amendment of the Constitution of India had been introduced in the Parliament. As the recommendation of the Parliament Standing Committee, government has approved the reservation for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes shall be on the basis of percentage of the rural population and not the total population. Please do remember, not the total population. Now come to the next line. There is at present no proposal for providing quota for OBC and minority women within the proposed reservation in the bill. The reservation in favor of backward class of the citizen rests with the state legislature under Article 243D, public C, the six, sorry. The part 9 of the constitution does not have any provision for reservation on the basis of religion. C. There is no reservation on religion ground. Hence, there is no scope to provide for reservation under categories for women by amendment. So, please do remember the things. This is the women reservation. How many states or what are the states who are reserving more than um, one by third? What government are looking for? So, please do read this sentence or explanation part. Now come to the next question. That is question number five. Which statement is true about Panchayat Raj? Please look at the, all the statement. Mm -hmm. And correct answer will be option A. C. Now Panchayat Samiti and Jila Parishad should be constituted with directly elected members. Expl again, read the explanation part. Panchayat Raj system was first adopted by state of Rajasthan in Nagur district, one, one district in Rajasthan, that is Nagur, please do this. On 2 October 1959, I already mentioned why 2 October. During the 1950s and 1960s, other state government adopted the system as Laws, laws were passed to establish Panchayat in various states. The second state was Andhra Pradesh, while Maharashtra was the ninth state. Please do remember the state. Who was the first? Who was the second? Who implemented this Panchayat system in their re respective state? Now come to the next question. That is question number four. How many tires are in the Panchayat system? Mm, uh, option A, one tire, option B, two tire, option B, three tire, option B, four tire. As I already mentioned, the uh, Balbantar recommendation, he recommended three tire. So please do remember that. How many tire here? Option will be C, three. Sorry. Three. Sorry, sorry. Mm. C. Three tire. Now come to the explanation part again. I have written the explanation part for your easy preparation. So please do read the explanation part. Without oh, you no need to search this explanation part part here and there. For your convenience, I am giving you the whole explanation part. C. Explanation plus part also here. The three tire system is arranged. That is, what are the three tire system? Gram Panchayat, Panchayat Chamiti, and Jila Parishad. Please do read. Gram Panchayat, Panchayat Chamiti, and Jila Parishad. Panchayat Raj is the oldest system of local government in Indian subcontinent. Panchayat Raj institution as a unit of local government have been in existing in India for a long time in different permutation and combination. However, it was only in 1992 that it was officially established by Indian constitution as third level of India's federal democracy through the 73rd Amendment Act. Please do remember the 73rd Amendment Act, which brings or which brought the Panchayati Raj system in India constitutionally. Now come to the next question, that is question number 5. Which of the following state was the first to establish Panchayati Raj institution? Option A, Rajasthan. Option B, Andhra Pradesh. Option C, West Bengal. Option D, Gujarat. 
so we have already know the answer in our previous question question number or option a Rajasthan. come to the explanation part so in this part also explanation part is almost same so please do read the same explanation part carefully okay then come to the next form of question the panchayat system was adopted to option a to decentralize the power of democracy make the people ever politics a to get the vision and d none of the, the here question is aim of the panchayat system so choose the option and correct answer will be option a already i have spoken about this decentralization of power or decentralization of democracy so read the explanation the prime objective of three tier panchayati raj systems are to curb poverty uplift standard of living of people in the rural areas and enhance a healthy and wealthy society by creating awareness among them about hygiene sanitation eradication of illiteracy etc then come to the next question which of the following state have no concept to institution at all okay see the option option a nagaland option b assam option c kerala option d tripura and correct answer will be option a nagaland see why nagaland and not only nagaland other two states are also there where panchayati raj was not in place so please read the nagaland meghalaya mizoram are no any panchayati raj as because they exempted under article 243 m public 2 and also enjoying the special constitutional provision under article 371 a 371 b 371 c 371 f 371 g 371 h by the constitution of india the following states have the autonomous districts please do read autonomous districts are also there and council autonomous council also there under the sixth schedule of the constitution thereby these these areas are ruled by self-government please do read this six schedule and autonomous district or autonomous council so there are many no panchayati raj system in this particular three states in assam panchayati raj do not exist in three six districts cover under autonomous council please do read also assam also not fully covered by panchayati raj system please do care reading where well, 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 the in Urnasal, the whole Urnasal is covered by Panchayati Raj institution. In Tripuras, the areas are there, which is called TAADC, Tribal Areas Autonomous District Council, do not have Panchayati Raj institution, but they have elected village committees. Rest of the Tripura has Panchayati Raj institution. In Monipur, the hill areas of the district of Senapati, Surasanpur, Ukrul, Tamenglong, and Sandel are not covered under the Panchayati Raj institution. The rest of the Munipur has PR Panchayati Raj institution. Meghalaya, Nagaland, and Mizoram do not have Panchayati Raj. However, Mizoram have elected village council. Please do remember this thing. There, is a there are differences. Munipur also not fully covered by Panchayati Raj institution, whereas in the case of Tripura and Assam also. Okay, next come to the question number. now come to the question number eight which of the following system is established on the basis of direct election Gra gram panchayat block committee jilla committee and option d both b and c 
and correct answer will be option A. Already we have spoken about this. Gram Sabha Panchayat. Here the explanation consists of Gram, Gram Panchayat consists of village or group of village divided into smaller units called ward. Each ward elect or select a representative who is known as the Panch or ward member. Or panchayati member. The member of the Gram Sabha elect the ward member through a direct election. Please do remember direct election. Direct election. The Sarpanch or, or the president of the Gram Panchayat is elected by the ward members as per the state act. The Sarpanch and the Panch uh, are elected for a period of five years. Gram Panchayat is governed by the elected body and administration. The secretary is normally in charge of the administrative duties of Gram Panchayat. There is a secretary. Please do remember. He is generally a bureaucrat and you can say officially selected, not elected. Now come to the question number 9. Which of the following statement is not correct? Please read the statement and then find the answer. Option B. Madhya Pradesh was the first state. See how we have already discussed that is Rajasthan was the first state which implemented the Panchayati Raj system in India. Rest are correct. Panchayati Raj was established by Jawaharlal Nehru. Then the 73rd Amendment in 1992. Tamil Nadu has adopted bicameral method. They all are correct. They are repeated explanations are there. So you should read the first couple of questions. Then you have better understanding. Now come to the question number. Now come to the question number 10. Which of the following is not correct regarding Gram Chava? Option or statement A, it is the, a body consisting of person registered in the electoral roles of a village comprised within area of panchayat. Now come to the question number 10, which statement is not correct regarding Gram Sabha? Please read the, all the option, option A, option B, option C and option D and then try to find which of the statement is not correct please do remember not correct and answer will be c c is not correct that's why that is the correct and the answer in this case now come to the explanation part the gram sabha is the fulcrum of the panchayati raj and the village development People is the forum of Gram Sabha to discuss local governance and development and make need best plans for the village. The Panchayat implements development program under the overarching mandate, supervision and monitoring of the Gram Sabha. All decisions of the Panchayat are taken through the Gram Sabha and no decision is official and valid without the consent of the Gram Sabha. Please do remember, no decision is official and valid without the consent of the Gram Sabha. Here the role and responsibility of the Gram Sabha has been discussed and this is the grassroots democracy. So here in this video we have discussed the important topics with the help of several questions in the Panchayati Raj institution. Hope you are liking our video and content. If you like our video and if you have a, any comment regarding our video, please do comment in our comment box and don't um, forget to like our videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and please provide your valuable feedback in our comment box.